President Biden's bipartisan $1.2 trillion infrastructure bill is now the law of the land. But when and where that money is going to be felt in central Ohio, still a question. NBC4's Alan Henry may have some answers. He's been talking infrastructure with local leaders all day. What have you been able to find out, Alan? Well, Brad, Ohio's expect to receive at least $12 billion from this law to fix everything from bridges and potholes to expanding broadband access to Ohio's Appalachian counties. Those dollars are expected to start flowing in as early as next month. This is transformative. You might call it a generational opportunity. Excitement is growing after President Biden signed the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act, or IIJA. So it was an exciting day yesterday, but wait till you see the excitement as these expenditures are made and people see that the United States is investing in ourselves again. It's going to be exciting. I spoke to White House climate advisor Gina McCarthy about the opportunities the law creates. Look, uh, you know, I've been doing climate work for a, a long time, Alan, and we're looking at how we actually transform all of our buses, all of our fleets to electric vehicles so we can have clean air for our kids who are sitting in those buses, making sure they're electric instead of those dirty diesels. That's something CODA just started doing last month, an effort that can now be ramped up. We just put our first electric vehicles on the street. There's an, a low, no emissions um, grant program that's part of IIJA as well. Um, and we'll rely on that program to help us get more electric vehicles and low, no emission compressed natural gas vehicles on the streets. It's not just bus fleets growing, some roads will expand as well. Things that everybody grumbles about, like the 70-71 split, that might benefit from this. The Franklin County engineer also plans on adding a lane in each direction to Alum Creek Drive near Rickenbacker Airport. And that sees an extremely large volume of traffic, about 40,000 vehicles per day. And of those 40,000 vehicles, about 25% are large semi-trucks. We expect in the next 20 years that the number of jobs in that area will increase. And it's these new funds from the feds that will help make that growth sustainable. Infrastructure is what keeps our economy humming. It helps us grow better as we grow bigger. And we've got big needs, and this bill helps to address that. Now, it's unclear exactly how much of an impact this bill will have in some areas. Some of the funding is automatic for some projects. Others are competitive grant programs that need to be applied for. So some of our local infrastructure leaders are preparing to make sure Central Ohio gets every last dollar it can from this new law. Brad. 